Right, hi there and welcome to Andy Robinson RC. Cheers for checking out the channel today. Right, so uh, on this episode we're here at Bolton Abbey Station, which is just a bit further down from MC Station, uh, near Skipton in the Clitheroe area. And um, what we're here for is the Land Rover Series 1 Club uh, informal gathering that's uh, a yearly uh, event that takes place at Bolton Abbey Station. Now years and years and years ago, probably about a good 40 years ago, this gathering used to take place back up at the road at MC Station, um, but uh, it sort of outgrew uh, the space, so this is where we are now. So, um, and then again, like about probably about 10, 12 years ago, they started meeting up again and uh, M uh, Bolton Abbey was the place they started to uh, meet up because it wasn't that far from the MC and the idea was to have that original sort of similar vibe that the old MC gatherings used to have. Um, so this has been running for a while now and as you just see down there which we'll have a walk down but there are quite a few vehicles here this has been getting ever popular each year. Anyway let's have a walk uh, down the lineup of vehicles. However, I've got to show you this because this is a really cool Land Rover Series 2A forward control, which uh, rolled in earlier, and uh, I'm ra rather liking that. It's very cool. Look at this as well. We've got some sun out now. Sun is definitely a commodity at this meeting. <laughs> right. Anyway, let's go and take a walk and have a look what's here. Now I did notice a couple of vehicles already leaving, but we'll uh, try and get in as much as we can. You know, a nice uh, 107 station wagon there. Uh, not a Land Rover, but this is cool as well. This is a ABC Mercury. Sorry. Don't worry about it, it's cool. <laughs> okay, so let's have a nosy down here and see what's here. So. Be a good range of uh, Series 1 vehicles. This one's an 88 inch on a rather big set of boots. It's very cool. Again, another sort of nice 88 inch vehicle with uh, black rims. Nice olivey green paint look. Now, I'm here with my dad, and uh, we are actually not in a Series 1 today. Mine's at home, and um, try not to get run over. Yeah, mine's at home, and my dad's is in the back of the garage, so we've come out in something else. Anyway, let's carry on down the lineup. vehicles that turn up to this. Uh, so we reckon there must have been about 35 to 40 vehicles show up to this today. Oh look at that, the sun's really coming out now. Uh, yeah, through the grill lights 80 inch. Nah, I like these here. This one is named The Bus. Nice little uh, 80 inch trailer. Oh, I like that, look at that. Yeah, very cool. Oh, I'm rather liking those red uh, shovel back seats as well. Very cool indeed. Big, uh, now I'm assuming they look quite deep dish. They may be four control rims on that. Yeah. Yeah. Nicely used. Yeah, it's hopefully, hopefully it's nicely used 86 inch. First of the series, we just did it as a hobby. There we go, some uh, 109 inch pickup and some spares. People bring some spares with them. Everyone likes to have a rummage at spares, don't they? Lovely stuff. Now here's a, here's a vehicle I recognise. OCD 570. I love the number plate on this. <laughs> Very cool looking 
80 inch, late 80. I'm showing sure you that's know, 52, 53. Very cool. <laughs> I like that. Get that there. MC Bolton Abbey. Series 1 Land River Parking only. <laughs> Nice long wheelbase. I love this, it's a lovely and well used vehicle. And so it's a 107 pickup. Very nice. Not too dissimilar to me, Dad's. Except me, Dad's is a 109. <laughs> yeah, another very nice. <coughs> Shiny 88 inch. Now the cool thing about this is, yeah, this is SXF732, and then right next to it, we've got its consecutive registration number. Consecutive chassis numbers. Consecutive chassis numbers as well. Yeah. As well as registration. 897. Look at that. How cool is that? Mine's a bit more dirty. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. That's really good, that. 898. 898. 898, you see, so, you know. That's good, that. And that's, you know, interesting as well because they they actually got the same registration of, yeah. you know, consecutive mm. numbers and they're consecutive it's chassis yeah. numbers yeah. as well. Now, did you both know you were coming, coming to the same well, I've known, I've known David on and off for many oh, yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. met at various little shows, but we've never really done that complete Are you comparison. Are coming to no. York Landover show? Excellent. The York one. Yeah, in <laughs> August. No, I don't know about that. Yeah. Um, it, I'm, uh, going, I'm going to Richard uh, Canterbury. So you've got one that looks quite standard, and then you've got the other one there that looks like it's uh, been on steroids. But it doesn't matter, both equally cool series one, standard and modified. Good to see them. So, yeah, liking that. Yeah. 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 V8 is powered. Yeah. 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 Excellent stuff. Another 88 inch. And we've got a lovely 107 pickup. Really nice presented truck. So you can start to see we've got a couple of gaps. Some people have left already. I don't know why. But uh, maybe other things on today. In fact, oh, there, just glance over there. There's two 90s. The uh, the grey, dark grey one. That's ours. <laughs> so let's see what else has turned up. Oh, vehicle for sale. There you go. There you go. That's a, an 86 inch with the uh, truck cab on. Which is cool. Yeah, another 86 inch there as well with the traffic aces on at the top. Lovely. I think someone's just about to go, but I love this as well. Nice 80 inch. Look at that spotlight on the front and that bell light is ace. I love it. And it's not green. <laughs> hey, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, so I'll continue down the line up, reaching near the end now. Uh, Nice and muddy 88. Look at the size of the boots on that. It's a nice aggressive uh, mud tyre. Nice 86-inch vehicle and, and 88-inch now. That looks like a friend of ours, Alan Lowther's. I think it is. So this vehicle for a long time. Now here we go. Look at this. This is lovely. This now. 433 or VAC is a factory vehicle or factory registered vehicle. I think. Pretty sure it is. I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong. But that is a really nice 107 station wagon. Look at it from that. Lovely uh, attention to detail on that. Really, really nicely restored vehicle. The Turner winch on the front. And the jerry cans as well. Oh yeah. Got parked up. But yeah, really nice. You can see inside there. 
Uh, I even like the uh, the grill badge that's been painted in the same colour as the bodywork on the uh, the dash. Nice little touch. Lovely vehicle though. And as well, which I've only just noticed, and it says on the back door there, left hand drive. <laughs> So if you can see, if I just put the uh, camera through, you can see it there, left hand drive vehicle. Absolutely gorgeous vehicle. And as well, it's got the sun visors on as well. I was quite fancied having one of them on mine, but on my own series one, but I don't think it looks like, don't look right to me with a rag top. And then uh, this one, really nice. Again, this is an 86 inch hard top. Now, if I'm right, I'm, this is X Dutch. An ex Dutch vehicle, again another left hand drive vehicle. There again, yeah, really nice. See, this, this often turns up at MC. Yeah, lovely vehicle. What else have we got? If we go further down, uh, we've got a Land Rover that's morphed into an MG. <laughs> and then uh, through the early birds that were here very early on. <laughs> Recognise these. Yeah. Yeah. We've got Robin. Let's see. Two well known vehicles there. We've got Robin's uh, 80 inch, and we've got Andrew Dowker's very nicely restored. 107 station wagon. Anyway, so that's the pretty much the lineup of um, Series One vehicles. Now I have had a couple leave, but I'm just going to take uh, a nosy over here, and we'll see a few other vehicles that have arrived. And uh, not necessary Land Rovers, but I think this Saab is rather rather cool. Loving the fact that that's just uh, turned up on a day out. I mean, it is also drive it day today. It's uh, April the it 21st, 22nd. Oh, 23rd, sorry, it's 23rd today. Losing days, but it is drive it day. And we've got someone out in a lovely old Saab. Now, this is our like Series 3 station wagon. And in one of my favourite colours, Russet Brown. One of the best colours, that Maasai Red and Russet Brown were the best colours. Very nice and it's all got its um, side stripes on. Lovely looking Series 3. Very nice. Yeah, County Station Wagon. Lovely stuff. Excellent. So yeah, you hear that, the owner says all original trim inside. Lovely. Yeah, I do like a county station wagon. Very nice. Liking that. And we've got say uh, to be a 2A part there. Yeah, I can't remember if this is one. Yeah, series three, short wheelbase. Oh, uh, look at the little cool Land Rover models in the back as well. Yeah, very cool. And here, people look rummaging through old sort of manuals and brochures for Land Rovers. This is Peter selling his wares, having a clear out. But yeah, so this is what it's all about. Getting out in your vehicle and uh, parking up socialising, having a chat with like-minded enthusiasts, always good. It's probably the first thing I've managed to get to this year. But yeah, some really nice vehicles. There you go. Sure, you've seen it before on a video of mine, but that's our mode of transport for the day, which is a uh, V8, factory V890, which is cool. But yeah, But yeah, some very nice vehicles. It's hard to pick a favourite, really. I am liking that uh, on wheelbase there, though. The, the pickup. That's rather cool. I am liking that.
It's been good if we'd uh, could have come out in one of our own series ones today, but it wasn't to be. It does look damn good though. And anyway. <laughs> Well, the little Land Rovers are parked up as well. Oh well, yeah, good stuff. So we've tried to, um, well, we've got the email address for this year, so Exhibitor app comes to me. Oh, yeah. So the thing is, I'm sat there. That's, well. that's cool. Look at that little mini traction engine, how cool is that? <laughs> that is ace, look at that. Cool, that's ace that. Oh, that's wicked. <laughs> yeah, I saw it uh, moving before. Look at that, how cool is that? That's good. Oh, cheers. Uh, see, I like my radio control cars. And, uh, this one moves itself. Yeah, that's no, good. Very good, that's ace that. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Five minutes late, the screen could have been around. That's cool, that. There we go. Look at that. Cracking stuff. Now, I am going to. Oh, there's another. Another. C regged, is it? County. I think that's a V8 as well. Yep, the V8 90. Also cool. I do love this. I know it's not a series one, but I think that's looks really good. I'm liking that. Fantastic. I love seeing these things. They're just quirky. But very nice. Yeah, lovely vehicle. Well there you go. So this is sort of say the Bolton Abbey sort of meet up for 2023 and uh, yeah turned out grand really weather's really good you can see you know fair few people as I say chatting talking all things Land Rovers and kicking tyres and mulling over the vehicles which is great so right well that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed the little tour around of uh, what's turned up to uh, Bolton Abbey this year. Hopefully, we'll be back again. Hopefully, we'll make it one day in our own one of our series ones as well. <laughs> uh, anyway, right, I'm going to finish this video off. Cheers for watching. Much appreciated as always. Look after yourselves. Take care. And we'll see you all soon on the next one. Look after yourselves. Bye.